Oh oh. G'day, Jacob and Sam from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining us. Do you remember one of the previous episodes where I was doing the Wiggly Waterway using this stereo and I blew it up? So I thought, let's see if we can fix it up. will kill you. And so if this is open and someone goes and plugs this in and then they go and touch this, they'll probably die. Is to get a pair of pliers and get the plug and just bend the plugs in so that that can't be stuck into the power point. There we go. Okay, let's get these components out. Darling! Yes, darling? Have you fixed that stereo yet? Uh, yes, I've almost fixed it. My job now is to see how much space these components take up in order to see how much volume of air was in our stereo and how much space they take up Let's crush them down into as small as possible particles as possible. Now there's a tongue twister for you. Small as possible particles as possible. I'll just grab a pillow so to put the components in. I'll bag up the components so that we can smash the living daylights out of them to reduce the space that they take up as much as possible. Okay, remember, safety is number one. Make sure you wear your safety goggles. Let's smash these components into oblivion. Dad, have you seen my pillow slip? I was keeping the mouse and warm in it. The mouse? Uh, It's okay, darling. It's all good. Okay. I'll smash these pieces down about as far as I can smash them. But they're still too big. I think I'm going to blend them up. Aha. Kids, don't try this at home. Darling. Are you home?
bin auf der Höchst, wo die Leute sind, die der Prinz. I'm sorry, darling. For an accident. Okay, I've got all my smashed up components in the pillow slip. There was even a DVD in the player. Neil Young. Maybe that's why it blew up. Okay, let's put them back in the box and see how much space they take up. Okay, that's about level. That's all the components. Now, the volume of the components is 36 centimetres by 32 centimetres by a height of 12 centimetres. Equals 28.5% component, which gives us 71.5% air. So when you buy a stereo, you're buying 28% stereo and 71% air. How good's that? This reminds me of a story from a Japanese mobile phone manufacturer. The engineers would put together the phone, the electronic engineers, they'd try and make it as small as they possibly can. And when they'd think they had the perfect phone, they'd bring it to the chief engineer. And the chief engineer would look at it and go, oh, it looks quite good. Let's do one more final test. And he'd put the phone into some water, and if any bubbles came out, it means they hadn't done their job good enough. It means there was still the air in it and they had to go back to the drawing board to make it even better. This has been Jacob from Make Science Fun. Please do comment and please feel free to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.